and that Ratha Yatra has been on earth for so many long years, since time immemorial. And even today, between 800,000 and 1 million people are on the same road at the same time to see Jagannath, Baladev, and Subhadra in the Ratha Yatra. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he made this Ratha Yatra very much the center of his loving pastimes with his devotees. He would invite all the devotees from Bengal, from various parts of Orissa, to join him for the Ratha Yatra every year after he took sannyas. But first he taught people how in order to actually appreciate the Ratha Yatra, we have to clean our hearts. So he cleansed the Gundicha temple. And after thoroughly cleansing Gundicha, and then thoroughly cleansing the Narasinga temple beside it, with all of his most confidential devotees, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so happy. He was beyond himself in bliss. Because he and his devotees together cleaned. That was their greatest happiness, cleaning. The Supreme Lord, Swarup Dhamadar Goswami, Gadadhar Pandit, Adoita Charya, all these great souls, Nityananda Prabhu, they were sweeping and washing and cleaning. The most simple menial service anyone can do. It's a beautiful pastime. These are some of the greatest scholars, the greatest incarnations, the greatest renunciates, the greatest gurus. and they were sweeping. Anyone could sweep. Anyone could wash. What was it that gave them so much happiness? They were doing it together for Krishna. Sim simplicity, we have been discussing this. Simple heart. Just being together whether we're seeing a drama, chanting the holy names, cleaning a floor, distributing books, doing Harinam Sankirtan, cooking, cleaning, organizing, really doesn't matter what we do. What matters is we're pleasing Krishna. We're together pleasing Krishna. That's what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught us. He was in so much happiness. He told Swarup Damodar Goswami to lead Kirtan. When Swarup Damodar Goswami would chant, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went into his most intimate, highest spiritual happiness. Because Swarup Damodar Goswami knew exactly what was in Lord Chaitanya's heart, and he would sing accordingly. He was perfectly tuned to the Lord's bhav, or his love. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had the devotees chanting so loud. They made a circle around him, he danced. When Lord Chaitanya was cleaning the Gundicha temple, he was so happy doing it. He was pouring, he was cleaning it with his tears and he was bathing all the devotees with his tears. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami said his tears were falling like the rains in the month of Shravan. Do you remember some years ago we went to Ratayatra together and the monsoon rains were pouring down for a good portion of the parade? How many were there for that? Please raise your hands. 
it was a storm, massive storm. The rain was pouring down, pouring down, and pouring down. And where do you go? <laughs> Jagannath is there, and we're here, and there's about a million people all around us. There's no umbrellas or rooftops. We just danced and chanted in the rain. Literally, that's the way Lord Chaitanya's tears were falling. Hare Krishna. You may say, how could two eyes <laughs> cry like that, like a monsoon rain? It's a good question. <laughs> but this is a chinta shakti, the Lord's inconceivable potency. Because what were those tears? Those tears were the manifestation of Sri Radha's love for Krishna. Radha bhavaduti suvalitam nomi Krishna swarupa. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna with the bhava, the mahabhava, the love of Sri Radha and her beautiful golden complexion. So as he was bathing all the devotees with his tears and he was jumping so high, another inconceivable thing, when he would jump high and he would come down with his bare feet on the ground, the entire earth planet shook. How wonderful. <laughs> 